Hey guys, it's Rain. Welcome to this home decor DIY. Today we're going to be making this big flower base. To make this, I'm going to be using a bunch of like coffee thin cans that I saved uh, for months. If you're not a, a big coffee drinker like we are, feel free to work with um, empty paint thins. Or if you don't have neither of those, you can just buy online. I'm pretty sure they sell somewhere. They sell everything online these days. I'm going to be working with four of them, but I'm going to be stacking one on top of the other using some super glue for this. So once I've done that, I'm just going to be adding some light decor because I felt like it needed something just to camouflage the lines a bit to make them less obvious. For that, I'm going to be using some like stats that I had around the house. They're pretty old. I bought them online like a long time ago, years ago, but I'm pretty sure you are going to be able to find something like this. And then I'm just going to be gluing them apart from each other and just uh, like apart from like the uh, edges of like my coffee thin cans. I'm just going to be guiding myself from like the previous uh, lines that I just glued. I'm not really um, perfect as far as where I'm going to be placing them, placing them by eye, but if you prefer just mark and measure. Then I'm going to be uh, painting this using this really uh, lovely teal color. It looks like brighter in here because the light was super bright when I was filming this. Uh, I just went with the paint like this, I didn't do anything with it, but if you want to like properly paint the uh, thin, if you want to prepare it, to, I guess, the acrylic paint to last longer. I'm just going to link an article that I found online on how you can do this. Giving this three to four coats, I gave this whole thing. But yeah, this is pretty much what you have so far. I think the stats, they give this a real cool effect. It looks less like a, a thin can thing and looks more of a home decor. Maybe that's what I think, hopefully it does. Then as far as the plant that I'm going to be using on top, I'm going to be using this. It's called like a spider bush. I'm just going to link it below. I know it looks kind of weird and random. It looks like kind of like spiderish, hence the name, um, but I really like it. I think it looks really cool and different from like the ones that I saw at uh, Michael's. To place this in there so it doesn't move, I'm just going to be placing this really old and kind of gross block of foam, but it works. It's just a top that looks like this. Uh, and then to hide the evidence, I'm just going to be adding some like rocks or stones that I found around the house. And it really helps. It actually looks uh, real and really cool. Doesn't have to be this like plants. You can use even real plants if you want to just you know place them in there and just water them yeah guys this is pretty much the home decor idea that i want to share with you i'm glad i went for this i'm glad i saved all those you know coffee thin cans that i'm using in this one because i think it's worth it i love the color fit and i love how it looks like with the um, green stuff it lives in the kitchen and it's roommates with this other this coffee sign that i made on my channel as well but yeah i really hope you liked this if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to check out this coffee home decor and more stuff that i have on my channel and subscribe for more comment down below what you think of this one but yeah thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye